We have hired an aircraft from Adelaide's Soaring Club and are going on an adventure in search of a sustainable enterprise. Our journey is going to take one and a half hours as we travel to the coastal township called Port Augusta. Port Augusta is situated 320 kilometres north from the city of Adelaide, up the top of Spencer Gulf in South Australia. Until recently, one of the biggest employees in Port Augusta was Alinta Energy's coal-fired power station. This was decommissioned in 2016 with the loss of over 200 jobs. Because of this, the township thought it might go into decline. But hope was on the horizon for Port Augusta because a new industry was coming to town, agriculture. But what would grow in this arid part of South Australia? The only thing that grows here is saltbush. The days are hot, the nights are cold, and the soil is barren, while access to fresh water was limited. The one thing that Port Augusta has in great supply is sunlight. Every year, Port Augusta receives over 300 cloud-free days of sunshine. A business or enterprise which could harness this sun's energy could do well out here. Sundrop Farms is that enterprise. Just off the coast and a few kilometres south of Port Augusta, Sundrop Farms 20 hectare facility incorporates a concentrated solar thermal power plant with a unique climate controlled greenhouse system to operate an agricultural operation all year round. Energy from the sun is harnessed to create electricity, desalinate water and store the sun's heat as hot water, which keep the greenhouses warm during the cold desert nights. Beginning with the solar farm, which contains 23,000 mirrors, or heliostats you can call them, which are electronically controlled mirrors, are positioned covering 51,500 meters squared to focus all the sunlight onto one point at the top of the tower, which is 127 meters high. The intense heat produced from the tower is then used to desalinate water, which is taken directly from the Spencer Gulf, produce electricity through a 1.7 megawatt turbine, and stored as heat to heat the greenhouse during the winter and those cold, chilly summer nights. Four massive greenhouses is where Sundrop Farms grows its produce. One of the challenges of growing produce in these greenhouses is maintaining a suitable climate for plants to flourish. Outside can be too hot during the day and too cold at night for many plants to survive. To regulate the climate within these greenhouses, several systems are utilised. During hot days, huge evaporative air conditioning systems are in operation. Water is pumped through porous cardboard membranes to keep them damp. Huge fans force warm air from outside through these damp membranes and the evaporative effect causes the cooling of air which is then pumped throughout the greenhouses to keep temperatures down. Outside the temperatures can be as high as 45 degrees Celsius while inside remains a hospitable 30 degrees. The greenhouse grows tomatoes by the millions which are grown hydroponically using desalinated water and special nutrients. This maintains a consistent quality of produce all year round. Out in these arid regions of Australia, the temperature can also plummet at night. The hot water generated by the solar thermal power plant and stored in insulated tanks is pumped through pipes inside the greenhouse, which keeps them warm during these cold nights. Hundreds of people are employed to grow and care for these tomato vines. With four huge greenhouses growing vines in different stages of growth, there are always new plants growing and others ready for harvesting. Being in a controlled environment, there is no need for harmful pesticides either. Instead, Sundrop Farms utilises biological controls. Special little wasps are hatched inside the greenhouses, which hunt for any insects that may get inside. Pollination of the tomato vines is done with handheld blowers commonly used in the garden. Picked tomatoes are sorted by teams of workers and packed ready for shipment to Coles. Altogether, 5,000 kilograms are packed every hour. This supplies Coles supermarkets with 40% of their trust tomatoes, which is approximately 15% of all trust tomatoes grown in Australia. Employing over 250 people, both from local and abroad, 
Sundrop Farms has managed to create a sustainable agricultural enterprise in a harsh arid region of Australia, while also helping to create employment opportunities in the region. On the way back, we were lucky enough to be able to fly over two more energy resource plants focused on clean technology. The first, the Bungalow Solar Project, which uh, had been developed on over 2,000 acres of land, was originally home to ostrich, sheep, and cattle farms. This land now farms uh, 420,000 solar collectors, which combined for 220 megawatts. This farm produces 570 gigawatt hours per year. The other was the Snowtown Wind Farm. This is owned by Trust Power and is located on just over 70 acres of land. This land contains 47 2.1 megawatt turbines and 93 megawatt turbines for a total name plate capacity of 368.7 megawatts. Output, outputting 1,335 gigawatt hours per year. Because of this project, Australia is on track for hitting its goal of 33% renewables by 2020.